Hey guys, welcome to Big. Say hi. So today we did some pigtail styles on both of the girls. Um, Zora's hair is a little bit shorter, so I kind of have to do these styles um, as a necessity because I can't just throw her hair into two pigtails. Um, and then Lillian's hair, it's longer, so I can kind of just leave it in a ponytail if I want to, but it's really fun to do these more intricate styles. So I hope you enjoy our tutorials. I'm splitting it up into two videos, one for Zora, one for Lillian, and I hope you enjoy our tutorials on these hairstyles today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Say bye guys. Bye guys. See you next time. See you next time. So I'm going to do a similar style to the pigtails that I did on Lillian, but kind of like the toddler version for Zora. I start with a part from ear to ear going over the top of her head. And then with that section I've parted out on top, I'm going to do a center part, lining it up with her nose, of course and then create two ponytails out of those two sections on top of her head. And honestly, this is a style in itself. When Lillian was Zora's age, she used to rock this style all the time and I just leave her hair loose in the back and I loved it like that. But Zora's hair gets so tangled in the back, it's not worth it. Now I'm going to do another part also from ear to ear, but this time going around the back of her head. So kind of a straight line from ear to ear across the back side of her head. And working in the back, I'll make another part down the middle of that back section and create two more ponytails in the back. And then same thing with that middle section of hair. I will create a part down the center, connecting that center part from the top and that center part in the back. And then create two more ponytails out of that middle section of hair. So we're gonna have three ponytails going back on either side of her head, a total of six ponytails. And again, this could be a style in itself too, or you could braid the ends of these ponytails and call it done. I'm gonna create a kind of cute pigtail style. So I'm going to twist the top section of hair and then connect it into that ponytail right behind it. I would go across to the other side, but her hair just isn't long enough for that. And I'll use another rubber band to tie the twist into that ponytail, but I try not to tie it too tight. I don't want to create too much tension on that middle ponytail. And now I'm going to twist those ponytails in the back and do the same thing I did on top and connect them to those middle pigtails. And now I'm just gonna fluff up her curls and call it done. You could braid or twist the ends of those and secure a barrette or a knocker ball on the end, but I think it's cute as is. And so I'm gonna leave it. You guys, this style is so easy. It did not take me long to do. It's not complicated. You don't have to know any special techniques of styling hair to pull this one off. Please try it. Please let me know how it works out for you guys. I promise you'll get compliments. It'll be so cute on your little girls. 
And one more thing I forgot to mention. If you don't know how to twist, you could either braid those hairs and put them into the ponytails or you could just twirl it around your finger and just add it in to those ponytails. You do not have to twist it if you don't know how. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks again for watching.